Nothing has really changed in the past 10 years for the lamination machines. So we were really pushed to kind of take, take the next step to uh, speed it up and make, make the process a lot easier with the workers. We started looking at the beds per person, beds per square foot. It's all about production. If you don't get production, you're not gonna pay the bills. So in this case, we went back and said, look, let's get the speed, let's get the easy placement, and then let's go focus on the right glue. We're trying to get a super tack. We're trying to package and go right into the package. We're worried about the water content in the glue. And that kind of caused everybody's machines to go slower and go backwards, so to speak. With this solution, we just dial down the glue. We have a way to control the amount of water or amount of glue that's in that bed. And we just tighten that up and then run faster. And then you can still go right into the package and safely get it done. You're actually able to go into the HMI and you're able to choose the amount of glue that you want on each layer of foam. So you can adjust for how each foam picks up the glue differently. And this is really critical in helping you with your glue consumption and making sure you're not over putting the glue on the pieces of foam. In my opinion, we turn the market around and get the market to look where it should be, where we're focusing on production and then go find the right solutions. We looked at it from the person standpoint, what could we be doing to alleviate some of their lifting or placing or whatever. So we've seen these people lifting and setting and whatever. So we think about the elbows, the shoulders and things like this. So the first thing we did is we took the weight away. So with this new design, we knew that we could place it faster, better. So we came up with some tools of merging that product. So it's very important in how we get that product squared up, get it you know, presented. And if we had a real nice clean product that was nice and square and so forth, this product should just lay right down with hardly any intervention from the, the operators. A good design keeps giving, we got the you know, we got the throughput as well. So now also we jack the speed up from 30 to 60 feet a minute to 100 feet a minute. Now we're running over 200 feet a minute. And when you start looking at that 200 feet a minute, it really calculates to 10, 12 parts a minute if you really put, you know, putting it to the test. What allows us to be able to run as fast as we do with the uh, 1250 is, the first thing is being able to lay each, each layer on top of each other. So then the operator doesn't have to lift it up and place it and then adjust it and then go lift up the next piece. With the 1250, we're able to lay, lay each layer down on top of each other, make a little adjustment, and then the next layer is already there ready to be laid down.